in this video i am explaining very important formulas from the potential energy and uh, conservation of energy chapter uh, so first of all look at here uh, what is the potential energy the potential energy is energy uh, stored in the system in an object because of the position for example gravitational potential energy so if this is the ground ground and you put some object above the ground right somewhere here the position here with respect to a ground is suppose y not y okay and because of the position the location of this object this object possess certain kind of energy that we call potential energy if you release this object from here this energy will be converted into kinetic energy okay so this kind of energy could be in uh, stored in uh, elastic material like a spring or something else okay so uh, let's talk first about the gravitational potential energy and then we will go to the elastic potential energy so uh, work done by the gravitational potential energy is given by w grab right and it will be equal to the gravitational energy gravitational potential at one position minus gravitational poten potential at another position suppose that this vertical is at uh, y one position right and if you release this object from this height after certain time this will arrive somewhere here let's say this one is y1 right and this position is y2 distance from the ground then work done to bring this object from this height to this height is given by the difference between the potential energy right here at y1 position and uh, uh, right here at y2 position okay mg y1 minus mg y2 so gravitational potential energy is denoted by u capital u look at the symbol here u grab one at position one and u grab two at position two gravitational potential energy at position two this is position two okay this is position one so in this way we can determine the work done by the gravitational potential okay so in short we can write down like uh, grab negative of delta u grab right this is the change of gravitational potential okay so this one represents change in gravitational potential so right here negative sign is introduced because when you bring an object from certain height to uh, near to the ground then change in potential potential energy will be decreased so negative sign is introduced here okay so this is about the gravitational potential uh, energy and work done in 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 general we will represent the gravitational potential by u and general formula will be mg y okay y is the position and mg is the gravitational um, attraction that is the weight right uh, now let's move to the uh, elastic potential energy if you have a spring and if you stretch is uh, it or compress it what will happen is potential energy will be stored in the string you can do either okay either um, uh, you can stretch the spring or compress it uh, doing both you will be able to store uh, potential energy okay and uh, work done by the elastic potential energy is represented by wel and it will be given by the difference between the potential energy at position x1 and at position x2 right half k x1 squared plus half k x2 squared where half k x1 squared is elastic potential energy okay so this is elastic potential energy what i am talking about is the last spring right 
if I stretch it, if you have some mass, the strut is right here and it will be elongated. Displacement will be there, right? After you attach this mass, this will come down from where here, okay? So this is the elongation, this certain part, right? Displacement is there from the equilibrium position. Uh, this is called elastic potential energy. Now, let's see. Uh, uh, this half kx square, where k is a spring constant, okay? This k is spring constant, spring constant, and this will be different for different material, spring constant. Uh, so, half k x1 square is represented by u denoted by u el el represents the elastic potential energy and uh, one and u el two okay so this is the work done by the elastic potential energy so in general you can write down elastic potential energy u el equal to half k x square what is k spring constant what is x elongation or extension from the equilibrium position what is equilibrium position if this is a spring when nothing is attached right here this is the equilibrium position right no displacement no work done at all okay when you attach something or you compress this 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 is spring you can compress you can do either at this condition also there is the storage of energy okay so <clears throat> this is the this is an expression of elastic potential energy half k x square remember this one now total mechanical energy so we know from the previous chapter about kinetic energy which is denoted by capital k and given by k is equal to half m v square right this is the formula so uh, total energy that is sum of kinetic energy and potential energy is conserved in the system if only gravity is acting on the system okay so we can write down like half m v1 square plus m z y1 equal to half m v2 square plus m z y2 right so this is the graph uh, the total energy kinetic plus potential uh, at one position and this is the sum of kinetic and potential energy at another position y2 right so half m v2 square plus m z y2 so this is called conservation of energy because energy cannot be created or destroyed and this is very basic uh, principle of the physics okay so we could apply this principle and solve various problems in physics so this is, is actually very useful uh, formula uh, used in physics okay when total mechanical energy is not conserved this is the conservation of energy right in all the cases total energy may not be conserved because of some other pro other work done might be done in the system that we call work done by other forces okay so in this case final kinetic energy and initial the sum of the final kinetic energy and potential energy will be equal to initial kinetic energy plus initial potential energy plus work done by the other forces okay so this is the case of non-conservation of total mechanical energy okay okay so uh, similarly if there are non-conservative forces there are two kinds of forces conservative forces like a, a gravitational forces in which total work done in the round trip will be zero if this is the round trip the work done by the gravitational force is 
independent to the pair right but uh, there are other forces that depends i mean work done will be dependent with the pair right that kind of forces are said to be non conservative forces in case of non conservative forces we can write down this this formula that means change in kinetic energy plus change in mechanical um, uh, potential energy plus change in internal energy will be equal to zero in case of the non conservative forces there will be change in uh, change in internal energy okay so this is this is the change in internal energy delta u i n t that is change in internal energy so sum of all these will be zero because uh, you know if uh, for example particle is moving through a surface in which there is a frictional force acting between the surfaces right in that case the energy will be converted kinetic or potential energy will be converted into the heat energy or light energy or sound energy some kind of energy and that will change the internal energy of the system right and <clears throat> this is denoted by this one okay uh, we can express uh, force in terms of potential energy if we take the derivative of the potential energy then you can get the force right and given by this formula here f x is equal to negative of d u x by d x okay so if we uh, uh, express the forces component of forces we can express in x component y component y component and z component okay and if we add all these together the total force will be the delta u x along x axis this is unit vector delta u by delta y del y along y direction and then delta u divided by del z along k z axis okay so in bulk you can write down del u negative of del u this symbol here is del 